NBC. Barry Winslow signing on. Um, wanted to log on and uh, actually my last video I uh, I got some VCLT from uh, from VK from Vance uh, Zep Pearl for those of you who don't know his name um, but that's his violent community name um, but I just wanted to come on and say thank you so much for uh, that that wonderful wonderful treat. Um, I really, I read the article. It was great. I love the stickers. I actually stuck one of the stickers on my laptop. But um, I haven't been able to listen to uh, Close to the Edge, that, that Yes album, because uh, actually the morning that I recorded that VCLT live opening um, was the morning that my engine or the motor of my record player died. So I am currently without a record player. Um, I mean, I've got a receiver, I've got speakers, I've got a sub, I've got my entire, you know, system. It works great, but, I mean, I can't do anything without a record player. So, I really just wanted to log on and do, like, an open shout-out to the vinyl community, um, simply because I don't have a record player, and maybe you guys would be willing to share some information about maybe a record player that you've had in the past or you have now that works good. Um, cause I'm just, I'm looking to get a new table. Um, uh, obviously I'm a college student, so I don't have a ton of money, but I do enjoy listening to vinyl and I do have a substantial collection. I don't think, uh, it's as big as a lot of you guys out there in the BC, but I have a good amount of albums. So it's kind of a bummer cause I've got all this music that I'm really stoked to listen to and I don't have a record player to listen to it on. Um, so I'm just kind of looking for some comments down below if you guys wanted to comment on my video um, and just kind of let me know what is a, a good route to go down when I'm looking to getting a new table. Um, I'm looking to spend anywhere from probably in the 150 to 250 dollar range um, and I want to get something, I want to get into a product that is a brand name and is dependable and uh, is going to produce that warm quality sound. I don't need anything that's super, super like $3,000, you know, this high-tech piece of equipment that's going to just blow the doors off of everything around. I'm not looking for that. Um, but I am looking for something that will last and will play good sound music. Um, I am an audiophile. I guess we all are audiophiles since we're on the vinyl community. But once again, I don't need something that's incredibly expensive and is the most highly fandangled, fantastic thing out there. Um, but I do want something that's going to produce some good sound. So if any of you guys have any ideas about maybe uh, you know, a good product that you've had in the past, like I said earlier, or something that you have now, or maybe if you have an extra record player, um, that we'd be willing to exchange uh, some, some contact information and possibly, um, you know, I could pick that up from you. I would really appreciate that. Um, so I'm just kind of doing a shout out to the vinyl community and say I got a, we got a VC member here who needs a little bit of help and I figured why not turn to some friendly people that I've met online for some guidance. So I would greatly, greatly appreciate it VC. I know you guys have huge hearts because I'm on here every day and I see all the fantastic stuff that you do for others um, and I want to kind of continue that and you know pass on love via the love train and uh, comment and subscribe to other people's videos and just feel the love vibe with other VC members so that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking for I'm depending on you guys right now so I would greatly appreciate it um, and it would be awesome if I could get some feedback and some comments on this video for, uh, for a good way to go, a good route to go when I in terms of a record player um, I have looked up a few I've looked at a few here in town. I've, I've been kind of digging around online, and I've dug around in town, and I've only been to a few locations just because there's not a whole lot up here. Um, I've looked at a Denon DP37F. Um, it has an Ortofon cartridge and stylus on it, and the person has a small record store, and he's asking $329. I've done a little bit of research, and I feel like this is a little bit overpriced, but maybe not. I could be wrong. So some information on a Denon DP37F, if you guys have any, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I also was semi-interested in a Pioneer PL115D. This um, record player has a Shure M95 cartridge and a Shure 75EC stylus. Um, he's asking $175. I don't know if that's 
overly priced or not. So some more feedback on that would be appreciate, appreciated. I know Pioneer, um, the PL series was a pretty pretty well selling record player back in the 70s and 80s. So I know that there's a lot of them around and now you can go get parts for them. Um, but this certain model, the Pioneer PL115D, I'm not sure if $175 is, is too much or maybe he's underpricing it, I'm not sure. There was also a BIC, a BIC, um, a BIC 912C. Um, he was asking $149 for that. Um, so I don't know anything about BIC. So like I said, I've got a Denon, a Pioneer, and a BIC that I've been looking at. Um, don't know if those are reasonable prices or not. Or anything, like I said earlier, that you have out there um, in the VC, if you have an extra table, or if you know of something that um, is out there and is of good quality, please, please let me know. Send me a message or a comment, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks, VC, um, and thanks to Pearl for the wonderful, wonderful gift. Um, and hopefully I can get hooked up here with a new new record player, and I'll be listening to that Yes album soon. So I'll let you know how it really sounds with a new system. So that'd be great. Um, all right, VC, that's all I have. Once again, I'd appreciate some feedback. So this is Barry Winslow signing out, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, take care, guys.